Man, the Condors indeed have been in great form to start the season. Vita Nelson has decided not to swim this event. She's got the 100 IM coming up. So she will not be in here, and she was 56-1. So I think I give Duluth, unless Maliga can find a different gear on the second day, Duluth might be the swimmer to beat. Boy, this would just be huge for LA. They were not expected to be even close here. Wilm is coming home. She's moving in front, and Wilm gets the win for the current. Duluth will settle for second. Oh, wow. Oh, wow is unbelievable. And that's exactly what they needed here. I mean, you couldn't pick a better race to win than an unexpected win. You grab the points you've got to grab, but then you've got to throw in some shockers, and this is a shocker. And now the Condors lead is only seven points, folks. And again, not to beat a, keep going and going, but Think about with Ryan Murphy, what does this picture look like for the current? Jeff Julian's team up by seven. As you mentioned, a lot of people thought that uh, <laughs> this would be a runaway win. Not so fast. And he's going to be very good here. He's got a nice one-two punch with his teammate, Justin Ress. And then you've got guys like Maresi, who's not used to going back, so got to throw him in here. Maxime Rooney for L.A. You got to put him in there. Yeah, for LA, they got close. They do not want the Condors to surge again into the lead. You really have three freestylers in here having to go backstroke. Moresi, Justin Ress is, yeah, he's, he's a backstroker, but he's also a really good freestyle. And then Maxine Rooney who is more known as a free flyer. Keep an eye over there on the outside. That's Nikolaev. Nikolaev wants to keep his points. Trying to pull up heavily. Red's trying to flash. Coleman Stewart's won this event for the second time this season. On the backs of a one-two finish for the Cali Condors, Nikolaev will finish third. And the lead that was tight. Look at the bottom half, though. Aqua and DC are now tied, tied for third. So, and Roddy, he scored 30 points in this event last week. That just shows you how big of a jackpot is possible. And his teammate is really good. You look at c -Slack, what he brings. He's rated second in this event. One, two for Cali. The only guy that could kind of get in there and squeeze in there maybe for second is Vizeos. You saw him pop up on the screen, but the problem is he just got out of the 200 flag just a short time ago. Trying to pull his teammate right there to the right of him. There's C Slack as he goes by, and there goes the red. Jackpot time in this event, two seconds. That's where you have to be to keep your points. Gazzoli moving up, he will finish second. He will break up the one, two finishes. C Slack winds up all the way down and finishes fourth, but it's still 90 points, not as big as it was a week ago. So you talk about the field, they did their job. Big jackpot. Wasn't quite as big as Cali had hoped for, certainly, but boy, it really is good news for everybody else. All the other teams can sit, at least breathe a little sigh of relief because you thought it was going to be all red. Still, look, look at the points that. Caleb Dressel scores for Cali, 19 points to 37 points. The Condors lead for first, but Aqua and DC in a battle for second, only one point separating those two teams. Aqua was really kept in the 400 medley relay by their brush strokers, Martin Nagy and Kaminga. Aqua finished 2-3. Martin Nagy had the second fastest split. It was Nick Fink who actually had the fastest split on that medley relay. The only guy to break 56, he was 55-9. So you got to really consider him 
a co-favor here. He's only rated 13th. He is going to keep moving up. I'm liking Fink right now because he is so good in the 200 as well as the 100. Although Martin Engie's looking good right now, and Kaminga's in there. And Kaminga actually in the lead of the White Cup in lane number two. Fink trying to surge. Here comes Martin Engie. Martin Engie surging home, and the win goes to Martin Engie. One one hundredth of a second. One one hundredth of a second over Nick Fink, who made a charge himself. But Martin Nangy, you're right, boy, he charged on the end, didn't he, Bernie? Look at this at the end. Oh, boy, that was a great finish right there. The DC China Aqua Centurions move into third, 288 points. Condos, though, sitting in the lead here on day two. In the top 10, Wilson and Dumont for LA, and they desperately need this event. Madison Wilson won this event back in match two. This is sort of her sweet spot right here. She's got great 400. She won the 400. She's second in the 100 free. Bernie tied for the 400 yep. victory. So that, that marries well to this event. Very much in control, just like she usually does. She's just steady Eddie all the time in a 200 freestyle. 56 flat on the way out. Wilson's right there with her though. They can see each other now that they've spread out on the field. She's got to rely on them because there are jackpot points available. Aqua Centurions, they've won four events. Can Pellegrini win their fifth or will it be Wilson? Oh, Wilson at the end! Slashes yes, away to the win! What a swim, what a race! Race of the day, in my opinion. The race of the day. They were right there with each other the entire way on Wilson. Wilson just kind of kept pace, didn't she, Bernie? She yep. just kind of hung in there, hung in there. LA, huge right there. So important. DC also did really well, though. They picked up some points there. And the current, he said they are riding that roller coaster, going with the current and taking advantage of the events that they can. So when you look at it, you'll see it's really going to be lanes one and two will have that lead at the halfway point. At the first 100, no doubt it'll be Cali. That's Coleman Stewart, lane number three. But then he'll lead into King, who will go second. Probably looking good. Out of lane number seven, there is King. Diving in with almost a second and a half lead. Boy, that, that really hurts Aqua. You, you can't have a 51-4 and 51-7 when you've got Coleman Stewart going 49-5. They've got to find a way to get their backstroker into it. Now you'll see the guys start to go by her, and there they go. Second 25, even though you've got the best breaststroker in the world, arguably with Lily King right above them. She, she just can't keep up with the guys right here. Now, how far behind? Is she going to fall to give C-Slack the ability to come back on Aqua? Look at Tom Shields underwater. Hands the lead off to Abby Weitzel in the current in the lead by almost a second. I think it's L.A. The only chance anybody had. There's no way those women right there underneath them are underneath Weitzel. They're not going to catch her. Not going to happen. And a hop kit on the right side, swimming for DC. They've got eyes on the top three finish as well. But Abby Weitzel, on uh, the backs of Tom Shields to the butterfly, led off with a 55.9, which really went under the radar. But that's the fastest time of the season so far. And there they go. Eyeing the jackpot is the current. Abby Weitzel gets another win for LA. Aqua's going to finish second, and the Condors will settle for third. Because the Tritons certainly within range to catch 
the Aqua Centurions with the 400 IM and the skins still to come from Naples. How about Bina Nelson stepping up for Cali to swim the 400 IM, Bernie? Yeah, she scored 42 and a half points. Talk about range. There she is, nice and smooth. Yeah, Bina Nelson. That is just huge for DC because as you can see at the bottom, they are 16 and a half points behind Aqua, and Aqua is running sixth and eighth right now. Oh, and the Reds start to pop up on sixth place now. Anderson in the lead, trying to get a huge win for DC. The jackpot time in this event, 10.5. Four seconds. Wow. Anderson gets the win, the checkpoint points, and let's see how many points she will haul in. 10.4 seconds, so you can look behind her and you can see the clock yourself. How many points end up popping up? DC 16 and a half oh, points. Wow, wow. Anderson scores 26 points. They took Dahlia off the 50 fly and the mixed medley relay to put her in this position right now. All right, Choystrom has won this event twice. Bina Nelson won the backstroke skins in match number two. Who is going to hold on? Who will move on? Only four survive. Look at how tight this is. Five for a spot to move on. Gastadello trying to punch her spot. It's Gastadello, Dahlia Mack. And Aqua does get one, but it's huge for DC to get Mac to move on. Boy, that was a quick start. They didn't get down long. Back with a really good start. She eyes being first at the turn. Not a good start for Mac, but she's come back a little bit. She's over there to the far right. Right there. Mac trying to hold up Gastadello. Can Mac get on? Dahlia gets the win. It's Mac. And second goes to Mac. DC moves one on to the final. Well, there goes that victory right there. Long on the fit, long on the turn there though for Dahlia. Let's see if she can hang in there. She needs to be at least at her feet. I think it's gonna be over a second, Bernie. Dahlia wants all the points. She takes them all in round two. Oh, yeah. She takes them all in the final round. Shegalith and Apple have to do something. They've got to pull a miracle out of their hat to be able to get into the final four. They're at the top of your screen. That's what DC needs to stay alive. The Reds already started to flash. Aqua's trying to move on. They're trying to seal the deal for third. No doubt about it, folks. Dressel's moving on. And two from the Condors will move on to the semifinal. And it's only Moresi who survives as DC will finish fourth as they're shut out of this first round. Slow start for Moresi. He waits so long to come down. 0.61 for Dressel, 0.75 for Moresi. Moresi's gonna have to try to play catch up because Ress is about to move on. No doubt about it. Dressel eyeing the jackpot win. And the Condors get both on. Russ is trying, trying to hold on to his points, but the good news is no matter what, they're getting totaled by the Condors. Going to the Cali side as Dressel, he's the Skins winner. And a jackpot to boot. They just seem to be right there. Okay, match five is next. It's the current Iron Toronto 
and DC Trident. <laughs>